Not a problem. Uh, if you make the mistake of uh, violating the terms of use again, there won't be any warning. There won't be any account suspension. I'll ban every account you have and every console you've ever logged on to. Don't play that game with me again, please. Hello, Xbox moderators. My name is Sacramento Love, and that was The Pro, an Xbox Live moderator who became corrupt and abused his powers by banning people for virtually no reason. The guy called The Pro, um, his new account's called The Man, and according to YouTube post, he's been fired, um, so I sent him a message about an hour and a half ago in my Beavis voice saying, you got fired, Ugh. and uh, so I didn't think he had much power left. I could understand like a two or three day suspension, even a month. A month would have been a little extreme, but no. I tried signing on and this is what happens. You want to be able to sign in to Xbox Live until 1231, the year 9,999. He was pretty much someone I looked up to growing up until I realized he wasn't as innocent as we were told. In November of 2009, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was released and it sparked a huge gaming community. This included hackers and modders. People would buy modded controllers, other people would host 10th prestige lobbies. Many of these people would host these for a price, whether it was for Microsoft points or actual money. And so, the Xbox Live and Forza team found out about this. Gentlemen, there are players that are modifying Modern Warfare 2. Activision published a FYO. We have to start moderating these lobbies. Affirmative. Ready our employees. And so, Xbox Live Enforcement tasked their team to go into these lobbies and ban the ones who were responsible. These employees were fucking badasses. One of them was the pro. He was tasked with playing the game and moderating the lobbies to look for 10th prestige hackers. AKA, the best fucking job ever. And at this time, it wasn't common for people to be recording. The Dazzle and HD PVR were like the only reputable capture cards. The Dazzle was not HD, but unlike for the Pro, someone in the lobby was recording with his Dazzle capture card, AKA Cotton 480p. Nightmare, you're gonna go bye bye for violating terms of use. I, you shut up or I swear to God, I'll stop what I'm doing right now and I will make it my mission to ban every console your account has ever been on. <laughs> okay, son, I'm gonna call your mom. Bufo, I don't threaten. I ban, as you well know. And if you're stupid enough to do anything like you pulled that stunt there on uh, Justin TV again, I will permanently ban you. I don't care. There's no trash talking. I was there, I saw what you did, and you can record this, and you can have it sent to Jesus for all I care. You violate the terms of use, there's not going to be any threat, it'll only be banning. Period. Dot the end. Lupo, I don't care. Feel free to forward it to Bill G at Microsoft.com. Knock yourself out, because I, I'm not going to lose anything, my friend. You, sir, are going to lose the ability to talk on Xbox Live. So it seems like the pro who was assigned to look for 10th prestige hackers was banning people. He was corrupt and banned people on Modern Warfare 2. That's the story us Xbox OGs grow up with. When this video was first released on YouTube, it spread like wildfire. It didn't go viral like according to today's standards, but many Modern Warfare 2 players saw it. It's Lupo encouraged people to download the video and post it on their channels, and eventually, this video made its way to Microsoft. They didn't publicly say much about it, which is not really a shocker, but all we know is that Major Nelson saw the video and sent it to the head of Xbox Enforcement. The head of Xbox Enforcement basically said, we are aware of the pro and its lupo situation. The pro was policing Modern for two lobbies. That's it. No detail, just your average Xbox Live Enforcement NPC response. But here's what happened to the pro. He got demoted to Xbox support in July of 2011, then in October of that year, he got fired. And if that wasn't bad enough, which it was, Microsoft decided to take him to court and sue him for $72,500. The pro decided to counter sue Microsoft for harassment Yes, sue a multi-billion dollar company when they have all the evidence against you. Genius. But wait, if you guys didn't know, the video It's Lupo took was fake. And I think every OG Xbox player already knows this. It was heavily edited to make it sound like the pro was the aggressor when in reality, he was only doing his job. So what happened to the pro and why did he get fired and sued if the video was fake? Well, let's just say the pro was not all about sunshine. Because of that video, an investigation took place and let's just say he had six years to do whatever he wanted with Xbox players. 
Six years! His career with Xbox enforcement was six years long and he still managed to slip under their company's radar. This is the original video that was leaked, showing you a different side of the story. Wow, oh, they would. Who got that? Uh... Oh yeah, hold on, let me turn on my mod real fast too. One, two, three, and four. Ooh. Ah, uh, I have my mod on. Yo, the pro, I fucked your fucking grandma so fucking hard in the fucking dumb teeth that she fucking spit out blood, motherfucker. You suck dick. Abuse your power. Console beam out. Give a fuck. You'll never see your Xbox again, piece of shit. <laughs> okay, son, I'm gonna call your mom right yeah, now. Yeah, call my mom. I'll fuck piece of shit. I fucked your grandma so hard that she went fucking flying out the window. Okay, so that's yeah, why'd you be in me for no reason? Your business. I. I, you shut up or I swear to God, I'll stop what I'm doing right now and I will make it my mission to ban every console your account has ever been on. As you saw, the pro wasn't banning people for no reason. He banned its Lupo because he was modding, glitching, and mouthing off. Furthermore, its Lupo admitted to modding in his bio. And the pro didn't threaten to ban them forever. It was the mmm pie guy who told the pro that he slept with his grandmother. I fucked your grandma so hard that she went fucking flying out the window. You gotta love those models for two days. You know, I have about 40 dads who are younger than me. But anyway, the uncut video proved that his Lupo made it look like the pro's corrupt and then tried to get him fired. Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Lupo, and the clip you're about to see is the pro who bans everyone on COD Modern Warfare 2 for anything you literally say. I sent him a message on a new account saying LOL with an exclamation mark, and he suspended that account immediately. And Microsoft, I hope you're watching this video because I know this is going to get spread around the internet pretty quickly. Um, you have a corrupt moderator on your team. He's abusing his power. His terms of service contract with you guys, and I know he is. Um, and yeah, he's just a bad person to be playing with. He's saying things he's not supposed to be saying. And people watching this, this is not scripted in any way. His gamer tag is not modded in any way. This is the real pro. And sorry for the voice and audio being off his sync. My capture card went crazy during this because I honestly was not expecting to be in a match with the pro. I just got randomly paired up with him. Alright, thanks for watching. And when the uncut video was released, it's Lupo took everything down and disappeared from social media. Seems legit. But if that's the case, why was the pro demoted, fired, and sued? Unfortunately, not a lot of information was released on his behalf, but all we know is that the pro was indeed corrupt. During the investigation, it was discovered that throughout his six years working for Xbox Enforcement, he banned over 700 different gamer tags for virtually no reason. Which is ironic now, considering Xbox Enforcement bans a lot of people nowadays for no reason, but what are you gonna do? But besides the banning, it was discovered that the pro leaked Xbox developer contents to the public, which violated his contract, so they fired him and sued him. I can't find any information about the court proceedings or what exactly happened, but all we know is that the pro countersued Microsoft, and that's it can't find any other information about this. So yes, the video you saw of the pro was fake, but the pro was still responsible for banning over 700 people no cause, which sucks, and it gave Xbox enforcement a bad reputation. But if they want to hire me and make things better, that option is still on the table. I'm just saying. I forgot to mention this, but there were like rumors saying that the pro or the man is coming back to Xbox enforcement in 2019 or something. I don't know, I heard some of those rumors in forums but I don't know if they're true, so I looked up the newest gamer tag of the pro, which is the man, and well, apparently it looks like his profile is a little active. I mean, it has a gold membership, it has the little thing that says he's working for Xbox, and of course, the usual, I run the enforcement team for Xbox Live. I play all sorts of games, yada yada yada. I mean, obviously the bio isn't there anymore, it used to be, but I guess he changed it. But now I'm wondering, if he was really sued and fired, how was he back moderating the services if he was fired? I, I don't understand that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys next video and I am out. Goodbye.